Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick this one. The integral of x times the square root of x minus one dx. Hmm. This is a u substitution problem, but it is different from any of the ones we've talked about this morning or done right now. So this is a different kind of u substitution problem. Hmm. So what could we say u is equal to? This kind of gets to what I was talking about this morning, that, that going, if I asked you to differentiate, this wouldn't be very hard. You would mm -hmm. just use what? Just use the product rule. Yeah. But integrating this tends, turns out to be surprisingly subtle. Why is, what, what would make this problem easy? If you could just change this to, change the problem and make it easier, what would be an easy, somewhat similar thing instead of the integral? Maybe if you had x times x minus one. Okay, x times x minus one would be easier. Now keep the square root, and but yet make it easy to integrate. Hmm. Well, x root x wouldn't be too hard. Okay, why? Because we can set u equal to the square root of x. That's not it. This one's not a u substitution problem. This one's an easy one to solve by itself. x times the square root of x. Because it's, it's x to the three halves. Yeah. So we can just use the power rule like operation. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's what's making this difficult, is you mm -hmm. can't do this multiplication because it's x times x minus one. Yes. So you need to solve the problem. So the difficulty is coming from what? The minus one part. Okay, so let's see if we can get rid of that by doing... We need to do some u substitution that can eliminate the minus one. Try u equals x minus one, let's see what happens. So u equals x minus one, du equals uh, just the x. So we, then we have integral of u plus 2 times square root of u du. Not sure how you got that. So, no, it's just x plus 1, or u plus 1. I guess I was thinking it was x plus 1 in my head. Um, then times the square root of u, square root of x minus 1. Because since, since u is x minus 1, then x equals u plus 1. Right. Okay. So how, would you, how would you proceed now? Well, now we have, we can multiply this out. And we have u to the 3 halves plus u to the 1 half du, okay. which is easier to deal with. All right, so why don't you loop up to the top here. So what is this integral? This is um, u to the 5 halves over 5 halves plus u to the 3 halves over three halves. Let's see. All right. Which is um, it is x minus one. Actually, I'll do two fifths times x minus one to the five halves plus um, two thirds times x minus one, three halves. Let's see. Very good. Now, is it obvious that the derivative of this is what we had before? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. But that u substitution, when we just had x times the square root of x minus one, the problem is we couldn't multiply through the way we wanted to. Mm -hmm. And the u substitution, 
allows you to do something very, to break this essentially into a sum of, uh, you know, square root terms, which you didn't have before. It wasn't obvious. Previously we had a product. Now we had a sum of just powers, and we could do it. So that shows some of the power of u-substitution and some of the, some of the, like, just the subtle insights that u-substitution. That didn't look like a hard integral when I, when I wrote it down, right? And u-substitution shows that it's actually not that hard, but it's subtle. Right. Good work tonight.